good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today in this video, I decided that I am going to do a story time. A lot of my girls on Instagram, um, I posted on my Instagram asking if people were interested in why I decided to quit my job. Let's get straight into this video. The reason why I even decided to make this video is because I want to enlighten people that work out and I also want to um speak on behalf of a woman working at a gym i'm pretty sure i'm not the first woman to experience this nor will i be the last and maybe who knows maybe i might be wrong other people working at a gym they didn't go through the things that i went through to begin with when i first got employed at blink well let's say when i first went to my interview at blink um i was working in the blink in manhattan and at the time, I, I did have a job, but I was looking elsewhere. I wanted to leave the job that I had so I can stay with Blink or whatever the position was that I was going to get um, with any company, to be honest, because I was applying everywhere and they were the first to call. At first, I was super excited because I'm like, I'm going to be going to Manhattan. I'm going to, you know, take the train, be a city girl. If you know, you know, I am horrible with public transportation. So one thing I will say that Blink helped with is that the transportation, the responsibility of having to, you know, wake up two hours before my shift. It was really a lot. When I first got the interview at Blink, right, the manager, the manager at the time, he was interviewing me like I swear I was there for like 40 minutes. He did not ask me anything about myself literally nothing he was just talking about the job like re like mad repetitive um just saying the same things saying oh you know you're easy on the eyes as a woman of course I consider myself to be beautiful as a woman a good looking woman obviously like guys are going to flirt so i mean i'm i'm used to it at this point unfortunately so he would say things like that like oh yeah like you know she's easy on the eyes whatever like you're gonna do great working here i'm like okay whatever um honestly i just saw it as a job i didn't really care like i said used to it this story is not gonna go in the direction you guys probably think it's going no 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 so and also i'm not trying to bash blink or anything like that i'm just sharing my experience really the first thing he the, as i'm on my interview he's like oh do you want to like i'm gonna show you a picture of me when i was your age and basically like he's showing me a picture topless and he's like this like he's like this topless in the picture so no shirt and he's like posing like that i'm like okay whatever i don't care i just want the interview to be over i know i got the job so that's really all that matters when I first started working at Blink, I had blonde hair. So my hair was blonde. I would go to Blink with my hair like this. And um, one day, the same manager, whatever, he like tells me, oh, you look like Shakira. Right off the bat, like, you're weird. Like, why are you making comments like that? Again, I don't care. Like, I'm used to it. But like, still, that's like one major thing like you know you're working at a gym you're gonna deal with a lot of niggas a lot of different type of niggas and don't get me wrong as a female in the beginning it's nice to hear like oh yeah you're beautiful but like you know sometimes people really be dragging it like it's not that serious especially because like you know i have a mask on most of the time i would always wear a sweater fast forward that manager ends up getting fired um for his reasons and we were without a manager for a while so i'm not gonna lie like we were just doing whatever the fuck we wanted type shit i mean we were working but obviously we weren't working as hard like we don't have a manager we were fun fuck things started once i started closing when you're opening you see the same people I'm never a problem like the regulars they say hi to you I'm not gonna lie, you. I'm sorry, I get distracted with my phone. Like, oh, booty like this, hey, hey. Just 
just making sure I still got it. Go back to the store. Like I said, when I started closing, I felt like I started seeing more of like the crazy people. Oh, and let me tell you guys, before that, there was a guy at the gym. He would have bloodshot red eyes. His eyes were like bloodshot red. He got into an argument with this this woman she's like you know squatting whatever and like i just hear a whole bunch of commotion she's like oh my god like this nigga is staring into my asshole I'm like... so as a woman when you're working out you don't want to feel like a guy is staring at you you don't want to feel like why can guys go to the gym and work out comfortably but for women we have to go through all this fucking sexual harassment with the eyes like the looking like keep your keep your eyes to yourself look look somewhere else we're getting into an altercation there was no manager and i was at the time working with a new employee but mind you i'm still kind of new i obviously knew more than the other guy that i was working with but come on so i have to kick this guy out the gym because like he's dead ass harassing this woman like they're about a fight like literally shorty was about it they were really about to fight so i have i had to kick him out the gym now when i call my manager to ask him oh what should i do he's like oh well just write his name but he's not telling me to kick him out i'm kicking him out because at this point i don't feel safe being in the gym when this guy is literally trying to square up on a woman you're bugging the fuck out like what if he would have punched me what if what if what like you never know what could happen so that was that they never did anything about it mind you the guy had like a gazillion notes in his account that people from other um gyms will write and he still had an active membership so it's like keep remember this remember this he had all those notes in his account nobody canceled his membership after all those notes nobody canceled his membership now fast forward we have a new manager i have no problems with this manager this is where like the problem started getting like more severe where i was feeling uncomfortable so what the night crew we were doing all of the work literally the night crew was doing all of the work and you know there's people that come in the morning so it's like the simple things that like why aren't these things done now i'm a front desk associate yes i blink everybody cleans everybody does this everybody does that but like we had no female associates so i was the only one busting ass in the bathroom cleaning but even so when i would do that it's still like oh the bathrooms need this done but the blame will go to me kind of sort of if it wasn't done and yes i understand that it's my job but the job needs to be distributed evenly like i cannot be the only female associate working out of the week cleaning the bathroom every single day like no this is not like i'm front and desk not maintenance to be in there like that never had a problem with cleaning none of that like i will still be there scrubbing bathrooms i don't care but when it comes to the respect and it comes to how i'm treated at a place where i'm working where i'm dedicating my time for 15 bum ass dollars an hour bi-weekly come on like come on i have no bills to pay this is where it all started where i just like where i was like already i was already thinking of quitting because i'm like bro i cannot I can't deal with this job i was so stressed the time that i would leave like everything was just too much like it's too much stress to be dealing with a job not to mention bro that literally if you fart the whole staff would know that you farted at this time on this day are we are we not working with adults like are we not i, I didn't know that i was back in high school over there that's a whole other fucking subject. All right, so there was this one night that we're closing. And the rules, the gym has simple rules that the members need to abide by. And those simple rules are do not slam the weights, come in appropriate attire, you work out in outfits and leave just like that. Like, full. Simple rules like that, you know, no grunting, like nobody wants to hear you moaning. If you can't lift it, then don't lift it like don't do it be mindful of others basically like all those rules are saying is to be mindful of others the members and the people who work here like nobody wants to hear that nobody wants to hear the weights slamming so this day i had been working one o'clock to 10 to 11 p.m so that was another thing this new manager 
he would take my hours and then he would be like okay you want more hours so literally the, the that same week he'll tell me like okay can you work these days can you work those days obviously i'm gonna take it like you know you're taking my hours so whatever like just give them back then in there one o'clock it's around 8 9 p.m already there's this guy that is slamming weights literally he's deadlifting you're not supposed to deadlift in that area where he was deadlifting in the gym so all you hear is just like a whole bunch of weights slamming touching the floor multiple times so he did it like 10 times already there's already another member that's looking at me like bitch you're not gonna do your job so whatever i let it slide i'm like he's probably done already with his reps or his sets however many he has to do so i'm gonna just whatever so he continues to do it i'm reading a book i'm trying to read the book without being bothered and annoyed by him but at this point honestly i can't help it i it's eight o'clock i still have freaking three more hours to go like nobody wants to fucking deal with that so i go up to him and i'm like hey just be mindful that you're not supposed to deadlift here you can go do that in the back where you are allowed to deadlift oh my gosh this guy starts telling me this is a gym i can do whatever i want this and that i don't know nothing i'm just a simple girl i know he wasn't talking to me but of course he was so obviously it's my job i have to take it i can't you know defend myself anything i just have to not take it personal and disregard everything he's saying because that is customer service yes 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 customer service the guy that's looking at me like bitch you're not gonna do your job he also comes when i'm telling the guy like hey do that in the back he's like you're a pussy mind your business why are you in our business she, like she's not talking to you and then like he comes back to me and um i walk away and he continues to deadlift he literally continues to deadlift right at my feet before i walk away and as i'm walking away he continues to slam the weights even harder so i like can y'all can y'all believe all i did was say hey can you please do that in the back there's no deadlifting here so you know you're just not supposed to be slamming the weights period no matter what the reason is you do not slam the weights and if a member of an employee is telling you not to do it why are you doing it co-worker is on break at this time so i have to i don't want to continue to argue with him although he's still slamming the weights right in front of me and as i walk away still slamming the weights so he continues to do it like the sets are never ending so my my co-worker comes back from break and i'm like hey come with me to get his name so i could leave a note in his account because that's the protocol like leave a note in the account so it was a thursday and the oops it was a thursday and the manager wasn't coming back until monday he goes with me to ask him for his name and stuff you know just in case he got static yeah i'm not arguing with you no more so um he's literally on his phone like this and says my phone is dead when we asked him for his member id and when we asked him for his information so i can leave a note he's using his phone saying that his phone is dead that he cannot get his inter information for us i'm like all right whatever so at this point i'm just furious and i'm just like i'm annoyed and he's being petty i want to be petty back um asian names they all sound the same so i i'm trying to find his name and i'm like searching through a whole bunch of names that just look the same i have no idea what his name could be and i just feel like honestly he was trying to show up for his girlfriend because his girlfriend was there and like i don't know if he was trying to be macho man for his bitch or something but like it did not work out because you're not doing that to me so whatever it's the end of the night and it's about to be 11 o'clock we find him his name i write um on paper and i also write a note on the account so i'm gonna leave i'm gonna see if i find that note oh okay i found it all right so i said member disrespected me i asked him politely to stop slamming weights in strength area not to mention he did it way more times and i just let it slide because we have a deadlift area in the back 
He claims that he is that this is not a rule and this is a gym that he can do whatever he wants. He's giving attitude and disregarding everything I'm saying. Another member approaches him and tells him the same thing calmly and he tell and he, I was so upset I was typing crazy. He calls the member out of his name, cursing and being nasty and obnoxious. My coworker, such and such, follows as I go to ask him for his member ID to leave a note in his account. He's clearly using his phone, claiming it's dead. He then continues after I walk away to slam the weights even harder, not caring about anything I said or the rules of the gym. Extremely, un okay, so this is where I fucked up. Extremely annoying and frustrating to have to deal with a grown man that can't follow simple rules in a gym. That's what I said. So according to Blink, the way that I, um, the way that I, um documented this was not the right way i was super unprofessional i was too emotional like i said i told y'all where i fucked up what i shouldn't have said but it's the truth it don't matter what i'm getting paid for i don't need to deal with this if i told you don't do it don't do it period you should not have a membership here if you cannot follow the gym the rules of, a, of the gym i wrote this before we had left before before the end of the night came so i'm just letting everybody know hey guys it's 11 p.m the gym is now closed please you know gather your things make your way out because we're about to lock the doors you need to be out period you have all day to work out why are you trying to work out at 1101 it's it's not giving like it's not so right before they leave i'm like hey i got your information and my my manager will be contacting you regarding your membership he says i'm a guest whatever so i'm just gonna go and play that i'm gonna play the clip for you guys if i could find it if not let me just see i think i have it here I'll just play it for you guys here i was that kind of stuttering i was really upset but this is what happened He said he's a guest. Mind you, I literally saw him working out the day before. What are you saying? What is the people making my noise? I'm not even trying to like mock her, but bitch, you sound dumb as fuck. What are you saying? Okay, so I just want y'all to hear what he says. I have a mental problem. You have a mental problem. You have a mental problem. So he tells, so his girlfriend is getting worked up, whatever, and he tells her, it's okay, leave her. She has a mental problem. Whatever. Blink is now closed. Blink is now closed. You can leave. Blink is now closed. Blink is now closed. I think you're just racist. What talking about? How how was I racist? I hate when people try to pull that race card. Like you got the right one because I am not racist at all. So try something else. Like you just look dumb. You don't know what to say. Like people love pulling that race card where, where it's not needed. Like the break is now closed. You, you, said you are not allowed to be. You said I have a mental problem. You said, too. You said it. You just you said, said it. Too. I'm you saying said what you said. Blink is closed. Blink is closed. You need to get out. And you didn't Blink is now closed. Blink is now closed. You need to get out. Period. Blink is closed. Blink is closed. You need to get out. You're mad and you're mad. How am I racist? How am I racist? What did I say to you that is racist? Nothing. Blink is now closed. So why you need to get out? Blink is now closed. You need to get out. Blink is closed. You need to get out. Blink is closed. Blink is closed.
all right so at this point you already know it's fucking heated this nigga's telling me to shut the fuck up like i could have been way more ghetto than that but i'm like bro i'm not gonna do this like it's whatever so as you guys could see like first of all why am i going back and forth with a man why it, it's 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 not giving at this point it's already 11 p.m you need to get out because if you don't get out then you're trespassing like i don't care you're trespassing if the gym is closed and it's 11 p.m then that's it like you have nothing to do in here goodbye that situation happened i was really upset about it like i couldn't believe that i really was going back and forth with a man like that and um i didn't see my manager like i said i didn't see my manager until monday that happened on a thursday i did not see him until monday so i was gonna write to him about it but like when i'd be texting him like he just he would act like he was like like he did not want to be bothered so i'm like all right fuck you so i didn't tell him about the situation until that monday that monday when i got to my shift he was leaving so i kind of felt like he was dismissing me i didn't feel like I was able to really tell him everything that happened because, like, I don't feel like he was really listening to me like that. So, whatever. Then the guy goes and he writes a review about me, like, a really nasty review. And corporate was like, oh, by the way that you wrote that message, it just shows that he's right and that you're wrong because you didn't document the situation the way you had to document it. Mind you, there was three witnesses that saw everything that happened that was that wanted to speak to the manager by themselves because they already felt their own disrespect and you're gonna tell me that they really try to give me a write-up for that situation that happened and that like that really drew the line for me like y'all heard firsthand i was calm respectful the whole time he's telling me oh you have mental problems you need to shut the fuck up like all this nonsense and for what because i told you to stop slamming weights because i asked you what is your member id and you didn't want to give me your member id so that right there bro that did it for me so after when i started speaking to my manager i guess they like did a whole investigation my manager was basically talking to me and letting me know that they were going to give me a write-up and i'm like okay that's perfectly fine like I understand that maybe I didn't document the situation the way you wanted, but there's witnesses. There's no reason why I should be getting written up. Y'all so worried about thirty like thirty dollars from this guy. Like, are you kidding me? I could have took this whole situation to HR and I could have blew it out of proportion, but I really don't give a fuck about Blink. Like, I don't care. So, um, he's like, Oh, there's no problem, like you know. So he also told me that I'm too emotional what does that have to do with anything that has nothing to do with anything i am a woman i find it disrespectful when a man tries to call a woman emotional because what are you what are you talking about emotions have nothing to do absolutely nothing to do with me being disrespected i have all, every right to be emotional why are you giving me a write-up y'all should have canceled his membership period you shouldn't be calling me emotional period like so that was that like i just felt disrespected by everybody and that like everybody in the facility like i just felt like they saw me as somebody emotional that i'm fragile that i'm just gonna curse out anybody i'm not even like that like i'm really not like that i i rather stay quiet than really say how i feel which is annoying because this nigga really blew my try to give me a write-up for that i didn't sign the write-up but obviously like that will still go on my record i blink they try to they wanted to give me a write-up on thanksgiving are you kidding me on thanksgiving out of every day that you could have given me a write-up you decided to do it on thanksgiving like that is really fucked up so there was just one time too like this door it somebody opened the an alarm door and i'm basically like calling my manager calling my manager and i'm like the, the alarm won't go off i don't know what key to use nigga didn't text me back for like the next 40 minutes like what if i would have stood there waiting for you to tell me to leave for 40 minutes like come on like very just very unprofessional so it was just like a lot of this negativity that i was going through at that job i was stressed i didn't want to be there i was just fed up with the people there the workers the members everybody like everybody was annoying like people will complain that oh I feel like this gym doesn't have this such and such machines like what do you want me to do what do you really want me to do let's talk about it like am i buying the machines 
like no so they would just complain about stuff like that like oh i i this gym is this gym sucks there's so many better gyms so go i don't care it would be stuff like that and like it was just so much disrespect that i could not tolerate and yeah i decided to end my memberships i mean to get in my membership so then another thing like people were so messy like they would just leave wipes everywhere the heavy ass weights at the end of the night like i found myself doing mad work literally like i felt like like i was just like overworking myself over there and yes it's a simple job you're just standing at front desk but when you are working it substitute for the work that you know you not you're not doing when you're just standing there i'm still i'm like 115 pounds picking up 45 weights 60 weights because people do not have the decency to put it back the moral of this is i used to see blink as a company that was very like you know the blink logo everybody blinks better bodies like when i started working there i thought it was like a really positive place and i really liked what blink stood for until like i just felt like you know they were so pro member but at the end of the day i'm still your employee like you should not allow for me to be getting disrespected like that thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel comment down below what you guys think of my experience working at blink comment down below if you have any stories of your own just like let me know am i bugging like should i have quit or should i not have quit what do you guys think anyways 